What's up, guys? It's Marisfies. Today we're gonna be doing some uh, stuff with scanner and user input on the keyboard. So let's get started. We're gonna start by creating a new class, and this is going to be called Scanner Practice. Okay, we're gonna go in there. As always, delete all the crap. I don't know why they have this. I would prefer that they got rid of that. It would be a lot easier. Well, I mean, it's not like a hassle really, but it's just kind of annoying. Anyway, gonna create our main method and we are going to do our first import of the tutorials. Now, there's two ways to import the scanner scanner uh, package. You, well, it's not a package, it's a scanner, scanner class function method, something. Scanner method. To so import it, just type in import either java.util. and then uh, the star with a colon after it or scanner. Either or works. I'm used to the star, so that's what I'm going to use just as uh, just as my preference. Now, if we want to type in system dot out dot print line, tell me your name, please. This is going to be used to uh, we're going to type in our name and then it's going to return something after it so to do this we need to start off by creating uh, the object that our scanner is going to be an object is basically how do I want to put this This is an object right here. Static scanner key equals new scanner system dot in. An object is something you can call upon to uh, get data, I suppose, get information. Uh, we'll be getting more into objects later, and I'll have some definitions in front of me. But my my uh, internet is getting worked on, as you might be able to see at the bottom. So I can't really look up definitions and tell you at this time. But creating the new scanner object, basically what, what's going on here is if we want to get any kind of input, for this case we want to get a, um, a uh, a string as the input we want to type in string a equals key dot next line key is the object so we're calling upon the scanner object we declared this object key you can call it whatever you want if you want to call it a all you got to do is switch a to dot next line uh, but you always have to have static scanner a equals new scanner system dot in key equals new scanners dot system system dot in doesn't matter it's whatever you want to use I'm going back to key I like using key it's good it's cool it's awesome string a equals key dot next line if you wanted it to be the next I believe it's the next word then you just type in next but we want it to be the entire string phrase that they have um, so we're gonna do next line now let us compile uh, capital S and string Let's run it. Tell me your name, please. Joe Schmo. How do you smell Schmo? See, now nothing happens because the program ends, but that's what a scanner allows you to do. A scanner class allows you to have the user input data. Now you have a couple different ways. We're going to go. All right, so we have his name. Now we want Joe Schmo's. Um, we want his age. Please tell me. T 
tell me your age. Joe Schmo is gonna tell him an integer as his age because we don't have dub we don't have decimals in our age when we say it at least. Um, so int b equals key dot next int. Okay, that's gonna allow us to put in int. Now, if you had typed in key dot next line, you would get an error because you're trying to store a number inside an integer, more specifically inside of a string, and you cannot do that. So int b equals key dot next int, and then we're going to ask him for his height. And he's going to say he's 72.5 inches. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Please tell me your height. Double C equals key dot next double. And then we're going to spit it all back out at Joe Schmo. Your name is A, comma, your age is B comma oh. your height is C compile it no errors awesome close out run it tell me your name please we're gonna be Joe Schmo because Joe Schmo is the man. Please tell me your age. Joe Schmo is kind of an older guy. He's about, I don't know, I'd say Joe Schmo, I'd imagine this old dude who's like 58. Please tell me your height. Joe Schmo is a pretty big dude, though. He's 72.5 inches. Your name is Joe Schmo. Your age is 58, and your height is 72.5. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you use the scanner class. It's pretty cool. Allows you for some blah, blah, blah. it allows you for some unique opportunities in coding. And once you get some if else statements and some some loops and stuff in it, that's when it really gets interesting. Subscribe, favorite, comment, like, do what you got to do. I'm out, guys. See you in the next lesson.